Okay, so you exercised extreme patience while the uh, AutoStar update updated your firmware, custom firmware on your um, handbox. It'll restart when it's done. It takes a while for it to transfer over. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy and paste my Time is Motion uh, software onto my desktop here for easy access. Um, you can see the three files here. Okay, now for the fun part, let's uh, run the Time is Motion software and uh, get into this. So you found your uh, beautiful scene. Uh, you're out in the field and you're, you've got everything all set up. Um, you're, the head is powered on and you've connected uh, the hand box. First thing we want to do is uh, configure so that we can make sure that we're connected to the right place. If we hit the detect button, it will tell us where our hand box is located. Uh, mine is located at COM port 3. So I'm going to go ahead and set it for COM port 3 and leave the speed as it is and uh, hit OK. So now it should be communicating uh, with the box correctly. Over here on the left you'll see your uh, camera frame rate. Uh, this isn't going to control the camera but it uh, allows you to get some of the uh, computations down below correctly. I'll set it for five seconds per frame. Um, then over here underneath the configure uh, you'll see your directional radio buttons uh, clockwise and counterclockwise, uh, vertical being up or down. Um, I'll just leave it as is. And then here's the meat of the program uh, through here. Uh, it starts with hold still duration in seconds. Uh, so we'll, we'll Let's set it for uh, hold still for 20 seconds. Then the acceleration um, duration. So this is the uh, amount of time it will take to get up to its final speed. Uh, let's leave that at 500 seconds. Um, then, then here's your final speed, uh, your top speed. Let's hit. Let's make vertical zero, so that we're just getting a uh, clockwise horizontal pan at 5 degrees per minute. Um, then there's number of steps, so this is the uh, amount of steps it's going to take to get up to the final speed. The highest number you can set this to is 99. For the smoothness factor, we have our duration to keep the uh, top speed, then of course the deceleration time, which is you know same as the accel acceleration time in seconds, and number of steps. I'm going to go ahead and set that for 99 again, the top value. And then if you want to want it to hold still at the end, obviously uh, when the program ends, uh, you can let it go as long as you want, but uh, this allows you to put in a value at the end if you want to kind of calculate that out. So once you have all these values set uh, to what you want it to be, uh, de depending on your scene, uh, if you hit the recalculate button, you will get uh, the actual script that's going to be sent to the head along the right here. Um, you'll get a total duration in minutes. Uh, you'll get the amount of frames that are going to be taken, and that's based on the camera frame rate up here. Um, you'll get a degrees traveled in horizontal and vertical. And um, this over here is broken at the moment, so ignore this. The degrees per frame uh, rocks is, um, need some work. So the last step in the process is to make sure that your interval timer is set to your camera frame rate uh, that you've, you've set above. Uh, get that started so that your camera is running and taking the photos. And then go ahead and hit the play button for the run program. Now I should mention there is a couple of bugs in the program, one of which is the uh, duration that the um, program calculates tends to be off. It tends to be a little long. So uh, it's about 20 percent long. So you want to uh, think about uh, whatever this number is, uh, subtract 20 percent and um, that will give you a more accurate duration. Um, and then uh, the degrees traveled uh, can be not so accurate as well. 
Um, and that's what these horizontal factor and vertical factors are. Um, this is the base number that the um, numbers on the side are, are um, calculated. This is like basically the number that equates to one degree per minute. Now you can adjust that slightly um, to get your degrees traveled uh, more in an accurate scale. Uh, I found it to be kind of troublesome. Okay, so you can also use uh, the program for real-time pans, which is kind of nice. Um, in this case, let's just ignore the uh, frame rate because the frame rate will be um, real-time. In other words, uh, let's say 24 frames per second. So uh, just ignore that. Uh, let's say our goal here is to do a 30-second uh, pan. Um, let's accelerate. So let's accelerate for 10 seconds. Uh, keep the speed for 10 seconds and decelerate for 10 seconds. Um, so if I leave my uh, degrees per minute rotational at 2, obviously we're going to go only 1 degree there. Uh, so let's up this. The top speed is right around 300. Um, anything above that is kind of unstable. So let's recalculate that. All right, so uh, 10 seconds acceleration up to 300 degrees per minute in 99 steps. Uh, keep it for 10 seconds and decelerate for 10 seconds in 99 steps. Uh, should give us a duration of half a minute and about 100 degrees of travel. So um, that's an actual real-time um, situation. So let's go ahead and run it. And the head's right next to me, so you'll be able to hear it. accelerating. So obviously you can't use this for um, when you're, you, you know, you'll have to not use your sound if, you're, if you want to record sound, but it does make for pretty nice results. Uh, in fact, here I'll, I'll put the camera on the head and show you what this particular pan looks like. So that's the basics. It'll take you a little bit of time to get used to, but once you get used to it, you can do some really cool stuff with it, uh, as you've seen from probably some of my videos. I'll put all the links in the description, and I'll spread some links throughout this video. Uh, once again, stop by timescapes.org. If you have any particular questions, you can ask them on the uh, timescapes.org uh, forum. That's probably the best time-lapse forum in existence. Don't forget to stop by OpenMoco and register, pick up the software. I hope you enjoy the software. I'm going to also include the source code, which is a bit of a mess, but uh, if you've got some programming skills, um, I always appreciate uh, picking up that project and moving it forward. Thanks for watching, subscribe, the whole nine yards, um, I'll see you guys out there, enjoy, peace.